the third episode of the Blue Note Anthology podcast, Don Waz talks about playing inside versus playing outside. And so if you don't know exactly what that means, uh, this is a short video to explain it. It's a concept that can go as deep as you want it to, but on a very basic level, it's actually not very hard to understand at all. So if we're playing a song that is designed to use a specific family of notes, we would say that it's in a certain key. So I can uh, take a famous... Um, This is a Bill Evans piece piece. It was also used as the intro for Sketches of Spain. That song uses the family of notes that are all the white keys on the piano. So when I go. I basically used every single white key and I've used no black keys. So that means that the white keys are the notes that are inside of the key of the song. Not every song needs to be tonal and use a particular family of notes, but if it does, you have inside notes. There's seven and then it repeats. And there are 12 notes in Western music, so that means that there's seven inside notes, there are five outside notes. And the reason why I picked this key is because it's very visual. The white keys are inside, the five black keys are outside. So you can hear, if I just stick to white keys, whatever, it sounds pretty fine most of the time. I don't really have the coordination to keep Bill Evans' timing there, so you'll have to excuse me. Those are the inside notes. The inside notes generally get along with the chords that you're playing. Whatever. The outside notes tend to be more dissonant and um, you may like the sound of it. it you probably don't so uh, I'm not a jazz pianist and I'm not necessarily using these in a very tasteful way but there are two basic ideas that you can use when you approach these outside notes one is you can really work to resolve them okay that was the outside note but every outside note is a half step away from some inside note. So we can create tension and release it, no problem. That's one thing you could do. You don't need to release the tension by going to its immediate neighbor. We can Okay, now that was a very dissonant leap there, but because we're coming home to the family of notes, it sounds a lot better. So sometimes people like to use outside notes to create tension and resolve it. Sometimes people just like the sound of outside notes. And here's an example that you may be more familiar with. I'll take this chord using all the white notes. Remember the black notes are outside. So if I take... Um, White notes, I'm going to add two outside notes. This is, uh, you may recognize this as being the Hendrix chord. It's also the chord, I think, from the beginning of Spinning Wheel. So let me play that same. These are outside notes. It's in sort of a strange register right now, so let me play it slightly different for you. Uh, it's the beginning of Crosstown Traffic, for example. Jimi Hendrix loved that chord. This is called a sharp nine, sharp five chord. And the idea wasn't to resolve it to something that sounds nice. The idea was that chord is great. Those are outside notes. So they don't always need to be resolved. 
playing inside versus playing outside just uh, really has to do with whether you're basically using the notes that uh, quote belong to the song that you're playing or whether you're going to use the five other ones that aren't technically in the family as understood by many other musicians. So I hope this helps. That's inside playing, playing inside versus playing outside. Thanks for watching.